Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. This video will show you the relationship between cylinder layout and exhaust sound. Single cylinder engines are not used in passenger cars, but they are installed in many motorcycles. This engine combusts fuel only once during a 720 degrees rotation. The engine is now running at 20 revolutions per minute. Please check the interval of the combustion sound. Next, we will idle this engine. Hmm, that is the captivating idling sound of a single cylinder motorcycle. Next, let's try accelerating to 2000 revolutions per minute. It still sounds a single cylinder motorcycle. Further accelerate it to 4000 revolutions per minute. At high engine speeds, it is not very captivating. Parallel twin engines are used in small displacement engine for passenger cars and is one of the most popular cylinder layouts in motorcycles. They are classified into three types based on the shape of the crankshaft. A 360 degrees crankshaft has the crank pins for the first and second cylinders in the same position resulting in an even firing interval of 360 degrees. Check the interval of the combustion sound. Since it has an even firing interval, torque fluctuations are minimized. But because the two pistons move in the same direction, it generates significant vibrations. A 180 degrees crankshaft has less vibration compared to a 360 degrees crankshaft. But the firing intervals are 180 degrees and 540 degrees, leading to significant torque fluctuations. A 270 degrees crankshaft has firing intervals of 450 degrees and 270 degrees. Possessing characteristics that are intermediate between the 360 degrees and 180 degrees crankshafts. It has become the mainstream in modern large displacement motorcycle engines. Compare the exhaust sounds of the three types of engines. Did you notice the difference? In passenger cars, inline engines with three cylinders, four cylinders, five cylinders, and six cylinders are used. All these engines have an even firing interval. Inline three engines are used in small cars with engines of 1,600 cc or less. The firing interval is evenly at 240 degrees. 
but significant vibrations occur due to the asymmetric movement of the pistons. Inline four engines are the most common engine used in passenger cars. The firing interval is evenly at 180 degrees. And because pistons 1 and 4, and pistons 2 and 3, move in opposite directions, the balance is achieved, resulting in good vibration characteristics. Inline 5 engines are currently used only by Audi. The firing interval is evenly at 144 degrees, allowing for a shorter overall length compared to an inline 6 engine. But it does not have good vibration characteristics. Inline 6 engines were once used in many luxury cars. But due to the widespread adoption of downsizing concepts, there are not many vehicle models using them today. The firing interval is evenly at 120 degrees, resulting in excellent torque fluctuation and vibration characteristics. Compare the exhaust sounds of the four types of engines. cylinders, the higher the note, but all of them have a captivating exhaust sound. Flat 4 engines are currently used only by Subaru and Porsche. The firing interval is an even 180 degrees, but previous Subaru engines had a distinctive exhaust sound. To offset the exhaust pipe from the center of the vehicle body, the exhaust manifolds of the left and right cylinders had different lengths. Subaru regarded it as a negative characteristic. So from the 2000s onward, they adopted equal length exhaust manifolds, eliminating the distinctive exhaust sound. Compare the sounds. Which exhaust sound do you prefer? Some vehicle models like Ferrari use a V-angle of 120 degrees for V6 engines. However, typical passenger cars use V6 engines with V-angle of 60 or 90 degrees. Assigning cylinder numbers varies by automobile manufacturer. We will assign the numbers as shown in the diagram. In a 60 degrees V6 engine, equal firing intervals are achieved by offsetting the crank pins of the right and left bank by 60 degrees.
in a 90 degrees V6 engine. The firing intervals are uneven, alternating between 90 and 150 degrees. Compare the sounds. There are also 90 degrees V6 engines that achieve equal firing intervals by offsetting the crank pins by 30 degrees. Ninety degrees V8 engines are classified into crossplane type and flat plane type based on the angle of the crank pins. Assigning cylinder numbers varies by automobile manufacturer. We will assign the numbers as shown in the diagram. The crossplane type engines have crank pins arranged in a cross shape. They are widely used in passenger cars. The engine as a whole has firing interval as an even 90 degrees. But within each V bank, the firing intervals are uneven, resulting in an uneven exhaust sound. This distinctive exhaust sound is famous as a symbol of the American V8. The crank pins of the flat plane type engine are phased at 180 degrees. This type is adopted in only a few models such as Ferrari. It has an even exhaust sound, but lacks good vibration characteristics. Compare the sounds. The engine sounds used in this video were created using an engine simulator. For those interested, please refer to the link in the description. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.